Welcome back to the channel, friends. Good morning. It's coming at you from Brashtov, Romania, just a couple hours north of Bucharest. Bucharest. Took the train to get up here. It's about two and a half hours, so pretty enjoyable. What are we going to be doing here? Today, we're going to be exploring Brashtov and trying some delicious Romanian food. And I have to tell you guys, we've only been walking around for a few minutes, but this has got to be the most charming city in Europe. I am truly so excited to be here and to share it with you guys. So let's go. Let's go. So we've made it to the black church you can see behind this us. It was actually built in the 15th century and then it burned down in the 17th century and all of the that remained were like the walls and they were stained black from ash and soot. Yeah, the city caught on fire so finally made it over to the parish of the church and that's why it became the black church all of a sudden, like you said. It was also built originally as like a power symbol. It was built a lot bigger than it needed to be for the capacity of the city but show their power and influence and they just built it as big as they could. Put Brasov on the map. Yeah. <laughs> so it's beautiful to admire from outside. We did pay to go inside and check it out. It was 15 lei each, which is like $3 US a person. Uh, I definitely think it was worth it to go in and check it out. It's different from most of the churches we've seen in the last few months. Really informative, interesting. Yeah, there's plaques around for everything. So actually learned something. So just walk around looking at pretty things. <laughs> All right, on to the next spot. The gate behind me is Catherine's Gate, which is the last remaining medieval gate to the city of Brasnov. Pretty fairy tale esque. It literally looks like straight out of a Disney movie. All right, now we're off to get some delicious Romanian food. Cheers. Cheers. Trying out some traditional Romanian food here at her cell, Captain. So we're now with the Jumari, something like that. Jumari. <laughs> That's uh, essentially crispy bacon. It's like chicharrones, like the pork belly, pork skin. All right, I went with a traditional Romanian like vegetable spread starter. It looks like they've given us two of the same because they did. <laughs> they were out of one of the dishes. Uh, but this one here is called Zucasa Acuta in Casa, which is essentially like an eggplant dip. And then this one is made with tomatoes and it is called Salata de Venete Facuta in Casa Kurosi C. Kappa. <laughs> We're trying with the names, but they look delicious. They've got a, gave us some fresh baked bread. We're gonna dip in. Oh, it's like crusty bread. Mm, wow, this one's fantastic. It's like really tangy from the tomatoes with like a little bit of smoke. And then the red onions are like nice and crunchy. Really tasty. All right, Lemon has informed me that this tomato dish that is so yummy is called Zakuska instead of that really long name that I said earlier. So this is Bulls, B U L Z, or Mama Leguta. And it's going to be polenta, egg, sour cream, and sausage. Like baked in the oven, so. I can see like steam coming out of your mouth. Oh my god. It's really hearty. It's like a cornmeal, like breakfast casserole. A lot of cheese in there. Good morning, friends. We are currently walking up to the Tampa cable car, which we will take up to Mount Tampa to get some beautiful beautiful views of the city. If you've watched any of our other videos, you'd know that we take cable cars all the time, but I'm extremely terrified of heights, so it's usually just footage of me being scared in the cable car. But today, we're just gonna show you the views, so we hope you enjoy. Standing car. <laughs> Man. 
to the front. This is so different. I don't know about this. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Thank you. Is it too early? <laughs> Maybe we're on the way back down. What time is it? It's like 10 a.m. Like 10. All right. Belvedere vodka, made here. Is it? No, I think it's like Poland or something. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, why did I think this was a good idea? All right, we made it to the top of uh, Tampa Mountain here. Which is a location of the brush off sign. Which is right behind us. It was <laughs> put up in 2004. Yeah, it's really cool. I'll show you the views from the side of the sign where you can see the whole city. I might stay here because I'm afraid of heights. All right. <laughs> I might see you over there. So we always try to take pictures for people when we can tell they're struggling with taking a selfie. Uh, but up here, there's actually a guy who will take your photo for you and print it off for like 40 lei, which is, how much is 40 lei? Like $8, so good tip to know. That's the man you want to see right there to take your photo. The cable car was constructed in 1975. The more you know. Get in there. Rode a cable car, a funicular, and a. Funit. Funin. Fun. 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 I don't, I can't, funilo, I have to look at the word. I think it's funicular in Romanian. Yeah, but it's said like funil, I don't, I don't I have no yeah, idea. Another, really. another language lessons with Evan. <laughs> if you come here to Brashov and you go up to the Brashov sign, when you come down, the first set of stairs take a left and there's like a walking road. I have to show you the scene because it's the most charming thing. This town just surprises us so much with how charming it is. But there's a man over here playing, what is that, the saxophone? Playing the saxophone and then check out this view. <laughs> This is like one of those moments that make me really happy that we're doing what we're doing. I just, I can't even begin to set the stage for you guys with this view and the guy playing the saxophone and there's just people walking their dogs and kids are playing and the town is so cute. Yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. Yeah, I'm just very happy. Way to find one of the narrowest streets in Europe. Let's go check out the String Street. String it out. It's a string or rope street. It's first mentioned in the 17th century. It was originally used by firefighters to get through to the next neighborhood. And it's one of the smallest in Europe. It's only about 44 inches wide at one point and around 52 at the other point. Jam. It's pretty small, but not like claustrophobic small. This one toddlers need to pass. <laughs> yeah. They made it. Yep, that was pretty easy. <laughs> Oh. 
Fernet is terrible. Mm. I mean, it's delicious. It's happy hour here in Brushoff. Stop by after Stube. Stube. Mm -hmm. Have a couple cocktails, couple beers. And Evan would like to say something. We both like to say cheers to our friends Ashton and her husband JJ. Thank you guys for buying us these drinks. We miss you guys. Congratulations on renewing your vows. Cheers. And if you'd like to buy us a coffee or a cocktail, we'll leave the link in the description below. And we also send out a monthly newsletter to all of our coffee and cocktail supporters, and we share all kinds of things there we, that we don't share on YouTube or Instagram. All right, so no trip to Brashov would be complete without trying two very important desserts. And the first one we're gonna try is called Papanasi. And what's the second one? Kurtok Skalash. <laughs> I had to keep looking it up, but it's the spit chimney cake. Yes, and they both look so delicious, so we're gonna go try them, and that's the end of my story. guy behind us won't stop farting. <laughs> it's so loud. Oh my god. So what they do is they take the dough, spin it around like a spit, like a for like a kebab, and then they base it with uh, butter and sugar, and then it caramelizes on the outside. It's kind of, it's like crunchy on the outside, but then doughy on the inside, caked in sugar. They should serve it with ice cream. You can put different things on it. You can put like Nutella, pistachios, nuts. Uh, it's supposed to be one of the bigger sizes here, brash off. Let's see it compared to your hand, how big it is. Yeah. Oh my God, it's huge. <laughs> Definitely worth it. It's only like 18 lei. So like three bucks, three and a half bucks. So I wasn't actually gonna eat any of this dessert because I'm saving room for the papanasi, but I had a bite and it is quite tasty. Not super sweet, but still really good. Uh, and they also had at the bakery these like chupa chup sodas, which we've never seen before. So we got the melon and cream flavor. It's like a sparkling drink. <laughs> Carbonated. Oh my God. Mm. Okay. It's really sweet, but it tastes exactly like honeydew. This is really interesting. Really, really sweet, but really good. Last thing, they expect the 1679. That's when it was created? That's what it's traced back to. The more you know. <laughs> the more you know. dessert that we order is called pampanashi and it's traditionally a dough that's been either fried or boiled filled with cheese and then topped with either sour cream or regular cream and then some type of sour jam which is what I read on Wikipedia. <laughs> this thing is like piping hot though I don't know if I'm able to take a bite right away. Ooh, it's crunchy. Oh god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's really dense. First of all, that is sour cream. Mm, that's sweet jam. I kind of thought this was gonna be like a donut because it's shaped like a donut. This is actually a really, really thick, dense cake. Like this is the densest kind of cake I've ever had. It's very good. It's very chewy. The outside's like really nice and crispy, and then the um, like tartness of the sour cream plus the sweetness of the jam is it's very good but this is definitely like one is enough to share between two people is very very heavy to wash down the sweet dessert we got the suika the quince uh, flavored plum brandy it's like 50% alcohol so it's got a little kick to it a little sweet too and 
Quince, if you don't know, is a yellow fruit. It's shaped like an apple and a pear mixed together. Can't really eat, eat it raw, but a lot of people use it for jams and jellies and sweet guy. Cheers. Strong. So, this just came straight out of the oven with the bee attached to it. <laughs> But they just uh, base it in. Video. Today we're going to be exploring brush off and trying some delicious Romanian food. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff. Nice, hearty, savory, sweet, everything. <laughs> a lot of good stuff. That does brush off. And so does Evan. <laughs> Trying that local Romanian food. <laughs>